Oh, it's working. That's so exciting. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. What's up? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of people. I wasn't expecting this. Hey. Okay, everybody shut up so I can introduce you guys. We're going to start with Robin. Robin, wave. That is Robin. My name is Robin. Zachary. That's Zach. Lindsay, she's doing her hair. It looks very cute, by the way. No. This is Cody, our registered gay. He gives us the f pass. <laughs> this is Jason, but we also call him Mailman because that's his last name. Hello. And then we got Brian, who honestly doesn't contribute much, but he's here for the laughs. He contributes with that camera angle, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Darian. He's my friend story. from high school. <laughs> Hi, I can get my good microphone to work right now. I got mine just above me. Alright, we did everybody but Nick. There's also Nick, he's in the background. Howdy. He will contribute Hi, small Nick. things. Howdy. <laughs> so guys, I wanted to show you the little um, cool thing my dad found for me. I think, so his friend uh, ended up getting him some alcohol for his birthday. Well, the friend's birthday. He was sharing it around with the group. And so you know how this is like a normal sample of Fireball? Yes. Uh, the friend also went to Scotland or something. And so this is, this is the little sampler they had for... What the... <laughs> So That's so cute. small. <laughs> that bottle is smaller than my pinky. I know. That's it's not, not what I know. thought you were going to say. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. What, what did you think I was going to say? What do you mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's bigger than my pinky, but it's smaller than my pinky. I'm going to grab a bottle of that. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Fireball, yeah. Why am I okay. Wow. Mr. Okay, Mailman's dad, aggressive. Tells everybody go themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. What are you supposed to do during the blue apocalypse? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> Million dollars, but whenever you watch a video, an embarrassing meme about you is created and uploaded to the internet. Who the f is yelling? <laughs> that would be Mr. Mailman. I did not hear almost any of that. Yeah, me neither. I heard million dollars, but. <laughs> Jason, quiet your father. <laughs> We're trying to do the what? podcast. This is Brian making noise right now? Oh, yes! <laughs> What Seems noise was it? Someone is yelling. <laughs> Who is yelling? Oh, my dad in the background? Yes! He's very loud! He's very Here, much gonna, in the foreground. Before, Here, uh, I'm not going to tell my dad that I'm still recording. I just want you guys to hear this interaction. If it, it turns out funny or not. Okay. Uh, I've, I've missed these. Okay. Million dollars, but 
Whenever you watch a video, an embarrassing meme about you is created and uploaded to the internet. Oh, f yeah. <laughs> I get famous. Yeah. <laughs> memes, memes are like an even better way of becoming eternalized in society. As long as they don't die. Listen, if I get famous... R.I.P. <laughs> Once you get an actor... If I can get famous beforehand, it just makes yeah. it easier. What? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Dude. That's a straight, like, no hesitation. <laughs> yep. And I get a million dollars? Yeah. It's <laughs> like, that's a LA? bonus. Okay. So, this one I know Darian will say yes to. Well, so, no. million dollars, but... When you admire someone's you have to wear a mascot outfit that covers your entire body. Oh. Oh, oh no, I really like admiring a though. Mascot costume. Now, now, when you say mascot costume, most mascot costumes have, like, the actual, like, logo or something on them. So it's very distinguishable from like a fursuit because you can say this is a mascot. These are the Carolina Party. Right. <laughs> I mean, or you can just exchange a kink bro. Do I have to dance around and like act like a mascot? Like, no. No, you just gotta wear it. <laughs> so just. You just it probably just didn't like. Case, though. <laughs> Could you imagine doing your everyday, like, business, turning around, and there's someone in a mascot costume just staring at you? <laughs> it's like that video of Elmo sitting on the side of the road in the rain Where it's, day. like, raining, yeah. What's they just said. <laughs> so, but it's a million dollars to be a furry, right? Essentially. Only when you admire... <laughs> Wait, how long do you have to wear the mascot uniform? I guess until you're done admiring the So it just appears on you? Yeah. Yeah. Could imagine if no, you wear it under your clothes like Spider-Man. Just randomly turned into a mascot. Honestly, I think I'd just turn that into like a party trick. So yeah, I'm down. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, check this out. I'm going to magically turn into a mascot. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> all you gotta do is make sure that you have Brian with you at all times when you're trying to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, can we make an exception and just say, like, if you want to see somebody's nose? If you admire someone's nose? <laughs> <laughs> well, then it would only be oh, Brian. Oh, yeah. He's the only man whose nose I admire. Maybe Hunter. Maybe, but... Oh, now he's camera shy. <laughs> no one. No, no, no. He's just trying to drop that. Camera shy for yeah, no right. one. <laughs> All right. Mm, okay. Wow. I'll go with that. All right. Last one for now, and then I have some scary updates about my work. Let's do it. So, yeah. million dollars, but whenever you see a dog wag its tail, you become a totally. Out of control, compulsive gambler. No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna lose that mill within the first like two days. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna say no. So you want I love dogs. A million dollars. Love lose that million dollars, and then lose more money. No. Yeah, basically. It's basically just a net loss, so no. Wait, is this a one-time thing on both ends? Do you get one dollar or one million dollars only once, and do you become a gambler, like an addicted gambler, only once, or does the gambling thing? I drop it. And the gambling is consistent. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, because gambling is meant to you up and just take all your money. Yeah. If you play it properly, you won't. Brian, yeah, but then but you're addicted to gambling, so and a compulsive gambler, so you, even every time you're on a winning streak, you can't back down until you got I don't know nothing until you can't play because that's what compulsive gamblers would do is they keep playing until they physically can't. 
and then yeah. they go find a way to we make were sure talking they about, so. Of course you wouldn't, Brian, because you're not paying attention. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Them, so. oh damn <laughs> so <laughs> he's Ryan, ready. look at this profile picture to entertain yourself since Darian is nice enough to share this with us um, I'm eating a Twinkie you're what? <laughs> he's a eating a Twinkie I didn't know Cody was with you I wouldn't have a quarantine. It's brain. So and Brian's gone. Shoot. Does anybody have any quarantine stories? I I have some quarantine stories. I love quarantine stories. Go. Uh, so in the fast people are going through drive throughs and doing fast food like the drive Yeah. Too. Because no. Only are they not going out and disregarding quarantine because, you know, we're a bunch of spoiled f children. We'll be going through the drive through we'll be talking about how COVID is unfair. Yes, we'll never know. <laughs> it used to be to go inside and sit down. Oh. And they'll talk about, like, like in the drive-thru, talk about uh, doing that. And some, th this is only some. Also, talk about if I was able to go inside, get refills. But I can't do that now. But to refill anyway. <laughs> Goes and, through drive-thru again. Can I have a refill? <laughs> No, they're just demanding another drink that they didn't pay for. <laughs> trying to pull some. I got a quarantine story. You have a quarantine Ooh. story? Hit us up, Darian. So, <laughs> sorry. So before um all this got so serious, and I before I understood what a big deal it was, uh, we drove down to the strip to see what it looked like. And it's kind of spooky. Everyone's gone. There's like not a single person on it. Not even the strippers? No. <laughs> so, for anyone who's watching, or any of you guys may not know, the strip is just like the long, famous part of Vegas, you know, uh, with all the lights and stuff. But yeah, usually it's packed with a bunch of like Korean people with $2,000 cameras. But, um,. <laughs> Now there's like no one there. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Yo, guys, I got a crazy yeah. quarantine story. Do you? All right. Yeah. So get this right. All right. Let's paint a picture. Today. So every day I've been going to sleep at like 4 a.m. Okay. And I'm waking up at like noon. <laughs> and every day for lunch slash breakfast, because it's noon when I wake up, I eat a grilled cheese. <laughs> it's been crazy. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I'm <laughs> so oh, man. That's been uh, other than our nightly like quicklash or like whatever game we're playing. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm waking up. I'm eating grilled cheese and uh, and I'm waiting for you guys. <laughs> yeah, asking for quarantine stories might be a little bit of a weird question since. Well, I know two, I know two, maybe three out of the seven of us still have jobs. Hey, some of us need money. Those of you employed should share. Oh, man. Listen, not that I'm not happy to be employed and have a paycheck. I'm very grateful. However, the fact that I'm still risking my health to serve people things that they truly don't need. We don't serve real food. We don't have vegetables and all of our is byproducts and produce and blah 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 blah. It's all trash. You think so? Why am I still here. open? Well, I mean, there's still stuff I'm sure that you guys know that would be essential. I mean, Bread, there's gotta eggs. be stuff at your place that isn't sold at the grocery store. 
bread, milk, it's eggs, more than toilet paper. People need to That's survive. It. Yo, it's bullsh. I work at a f***ing gas station, and I have these sh people that come in and that are like, "I have to have my quick trip food during the middle of apocalypse." Like, it's ridiculous. I had a, I had a guy come in the other day. He was masked up. He had like a mask on, gloves on, everything, and he got ice cream and lottery, and then left. That's essential, though. No, or it's not. A million dollars. And then it's bull because our headquarters is like working from home right now, but we're all still working in our stores. So I'm like, awesome. If I get robbed and I hit the button for you guys to, you know, do something about it, you guys are just going to be like not doing your jobs at the. I don't even know. It's just, it's some bull. I hate my job. And it's garbage. Listening to it, I hate it too. This podcast is not brought to you by Quick Trip. Nor do. Hashtag not sponsored. It kind of boggles up my mind. Hardy, I'm going to say, isn't the best at this whole course thing. Because it's the one fast food joint that is letting people still come in. They have to carry out, but they can come in. Oh, no. I don't know. Dude, Quick Trip released a curbside service for f***ing gas station food. It's dog sh Since you and Nick, Susan, since you and Nick got me somewhat back into Pokemon Go, it's kind of interesting doing it around here. Yeah. Because we usually take a small walk around our area, mm -hmm. and um, there's a decent amount of variety. I've already I've caught, uh, uh, the other day I caught a, a shiny Caterpie. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, it's kind of interesting, though, because their company is starting to say stuff like they're going to figure out how to let people play indoors without walking around, which is... On a business standpoint, like one of the hardest things to do because their whole brand is based around moving around and going and Pokemon Go. Right, but you could do raids and, um, and Sword and Shield, like. So I mean, I don't think it's going to be too hard for them to figure out how to make raids from home. Right. Well, yeah. no, this is a different company. I think is it Neon? Yeah, it, it is. is. It is still the Pokemon company, which is, which does and. Uh, uh, Creatures Inc. and all that, but it is also another company as well. So it's so Pokemon Go is run by two companies. It's run by Niantic, who also did uh, another game, and then a uh, Harry Potter Go. Yeah. And then the Pokemon Company itself, which is which in and of itself is run by two companies, because it's run by Game Freak and then also by Nintendo. Yeah, and uh, I mean, regardless, though, uh, it seems like they're trying to take care of their their fan base. Yeah, so, and so there I've were a few articles that. that came out like they're trying to figure out how raids can work offline or not offline, but you know, at From location. Home. Yeah, and they've been starting to do these very cheap sales. I guess the in-game yeah. currency you can earn fifty coins up uh, per day, um, and they yeah. they and give out like some one... balls for like one coin. Yeah. And also some insects, which basically spawns Pokemon right where you are. Right. The only challenge with that is how much is too much, because uh, I saw one of them, it was like 50, or 100 regular Pokeballs, and then yesterday it was 50 Great Balls. The problem is, if, let's assume the average like catch rate is two or three Pokeballs per Pokemon, because I've seen some that are very uh, challenging for some reason. And You're yet they turn out to be like very very fast. They're Pokeballs. You're gonna run out of those very fast. So, well, yes. Yeah, yeah. so, so it becomes. So then it becomes a game of resource management. Yeah. Realizing you don't necessarily want to catch them all, but like, which ones you do. But which that's ones you the don't. slogan. We gotta catch them all. Yeah, don't tell that to Nintendo. They'll kick your. You say you don't want to catch them all. Listen, I've completed my Pokedex, alright? <laughs> oh, well. 
I can be in my shoes. I caught them all. Well, I was I was at this like weird achievement them. where you have to catch a ditto, and ditto spawns in as like the really worst base Pokemon. Yo, like Paris, uh, Ratatata, uh, straight up Lady Letty B or stuff like that. Letiba. Let it bug, yeah. I, I don't know a lot of them because I'm still trying to get back into Pokemon. But uh, yeah. so there's all these basic types, and you have to keep trying to catch those. And when you're trying to do that, uh, so and you you don't know which ones a ditto because they're all the same. There's no like, no. It's a game of chance. Yeah. So oh, a game of chance. Nick caught four dittos today. In a row. In a row. What was it? Nick caught what? Nick caught four ditto today in a row. What the oh. f Really? Yeah, it was ridiculous. It was like every what, Pokemon. What were the CPs? Uh, they ranged anywhere from like in the teens to like the mid, like up to 500. Okay. Dude, the one I got was 420. Yeah, blaze it. Yeah. Wait, I, and you got a new shiny too, the Sudwudo? Yeah, I just caught that today. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, impressed. I, I don't, well, because I see them as your partner for a little while, but usually I keep one or two as mine. I don't really change them. Yeah, I like, I, like to, I like to display my new shiny every now and again, so I changed it from my from my Teddy Ursula to my uh, Sudowoodo. Dude, I caught so many shinies that day we did um because there was supposed to be a st louis pokemon event and nick got tickets for us and they were like yo sorry this event is postponed slash canceled but you can still do it at home and while doing it from home i caught like 10 shinies in a day holy sh yeah what? yeah she got a f ton. Got I got like, it was a little f annoying at some points. I was like, every other Pokemon she clicked on was a shiny. Yeah. I was pretty upset. Really? Wait, so... Was there something to make this special, or was it just random chance? Um, was, was it was it just St. Louis Safari Zone, so, like, you put an incense on, and it lasted eight hours over just a regular hour, and you got special okay. Pokemon spawn-ins. Well, hopefully you guys traded some of those to Nick. Yeah, Nick and I just out. traded um, a shiny I didn't catch and then a shiny he caught uh, this mm -hmm. morning. Uh, this isn't a shiny, but do you know what a Cherim is? Or Cherim? Yeah. Yes. Cherim. yes. Is that like a Cherim. good one? Cherim? Is that a good one? It's all right. A good Pokemon? I mean, it's, yeah. yeah, decent. If you're looking for a grass type. Right, I, I caught two of them, and they, they always have one of those circles that, even if it was an Ultra Ball, it was orange. So I was kind of lost on that one. Uh, well, it's an it, evolved uh, form of another Pokemon. That's probably why it's a little bit harder to catch. Yeah. What's the yeah. first of evolution? Cherubi. <laughs> that don't... That no, tickled no. Brian. Was that you, Brian? That tickled Brian. What happened to what's Brian? Brian? No, I died. I don't know. Good job, I don't Brian. know anything about Pokemon, so. It's okay. Me either. Yeah, well, no, thanks me, for your input, Brian. You know, me and, Susan, <laughs> me and Susan traded a uh, shiny Lunatone, which, if you didn't know, it's a regional Pokemon for the other side of the world. So during Ooh. the Safari Zone, we were, you got it as like a, like, just one of the random spawn-ins. And I was able to get two of them. And I traded for... A shiny... Rosalia? Rose yeah. Dang. I, 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 I've been trying to look for shinies, but, like, this area, they keep spawning in the same five Pokemon. And then they switch it around every few days, but still, like... All I see now are those little mushroom ones. I can't remember their names. Fungus. Like the tops of their head. Fungus. Dude. Fungus. Yeah, Fungus. I keep <laughs> finding those guys, and I want to evolve them, but, like, I don't have Pokeballs to just spend every day. I that just caught a ditto. I sh you not, I just yeah. caught a ditto. <laughs> hey, that's a CP. 
107. <coughs> and it has zero stars. So. Oof. You know Trash. Really Time to turn the in two, any candy. The, the two shiny Sneasels that, um, have zero stars. How do you get two shinies of the same type and they're both zero stars? Uh, if, if A lot of my shinies are zero stars. Are I've got three star ones. Uh, one of I my shinies the, is three star. The Caterpie star. is a three star. One of my shinies is a stars. three star, but that's because I hatched it from an egg. Oh, no, you got another one. You just, oh, sh you hatched a shiny. Oh, yeah. And then the one that Nick and I, I just traded, um, it's a three star. Oh, How you took stars of all these guys? Uh, uh, you appraise them. Yeah, oh. appraise them. Yeah, it was a new feature or something. I was kind of bummed out because uh, since they added this oh. feature, I probably got rid of a lot of Pokemon before this feature that probably were three stars. Rip. He's probably having camera issues. Is camera that, or audio. No, no, he's pretty high. That too, yeah. <gasps> wow. Look at this boy. He's three stars. Yeah, there you go. See? Wait, who is that? Oh, zoom oh, in gosh. on Cody. Move it closer. Oh, I think I got my good microphone to work. Wait. Yeah. Oh, Apom. Apom. Hey, oh, hey, is he uh, red or something? Whoa! Okay. There you go. It's yeah. that microphone. Yeah, I got it. I finally got it to switch over, so now I can use my voice changer. It's my uh. Hi, my uh. Oh, Maya. Maya the dog. Rat. Now that we're quarantined, Maya can She's actually floofy. join the podcast from afar. She's a floofy. floofy rat. Has she been behaving uh, herself? Hold no, on, she's on. a little. Hold on. Don't kiss that thing. I hear rats carry diseases. <laughs> like Corona? <laughs> like the black no, that's bat. Corona. No, she don't have wings. Bats are the ones that carry diseases. Or corona. Is your dad still feeding it the hot dog, which probably caused caused it to go explosive mode? Um, yes, and that's not what caused her tummy to be upset, if that's what you mean. What did cause it then? Her tummy the was upset. No, the her tummy was what? upset because her anal glands were full. You. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I understand now, but please do not repeat that. What? Anal glands? glands? You don't like yes. the word anal? Or the word glands? I know. Yeah. The combination of the two. The combination. <laughs> I just love it when hey, somebody hey. stimulates my anal glands. <laughs> That is not a kink. That is how you hashtag, do. Hashtag not a kink. With uh, some million dollar butt questions. I <laughs> I have I have Nick anal, did actually. Million dollars butt. Get it? Butt. Oh, they're they Nick are, picked them out this time. They're a little bit spicy. Million dollars butt. You have oh. to fuck in the ass. All right, so. Million dollars, but every time you order something online, you have to tell your parents about your last sexual encounter in detail. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could just get somebody you know, I, to order stuff for you. So, yo, mom, I just ordered a dildo online. Uh, I gotta tell you about my sexual encounter. Um, I'm assuming most of us don't order dildos, Cody. I yeah, mean, speak for over. yourself. But that's just a gay. Hey, <laughs> Thanks for that's watching. Just a, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, I'm on the fence for this because I don't order a lot online. And if I would, in this situation, I would just get somebody to order it for me. And then I would just pay them back. Yeah, no. Oh, I, you cool. wish way too much. <laughs> wish is a Chinese scam. Well, not a scam, but like. Well, I still get the. F I know. I'm saying it's like a Chinese knockoff. Uh, yeah, but they all still work pretty well. All the. 
trying to knock off their cheaper. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I, I might go for it. Um, I'm going to say yes, because if I start that conversation with either of my parents, they'll be like, stop, please. Mm -hmm. Shut up. No, but you have to. We don't care. But you have to tell well, you them. You have like, to describe it. Yeah, you have to tell them yeah. regardless. Like, just because they say stop doesn't mean you have. To, you're gonna stop. You it have to go mean on. You're allowed to stop. Robin said no well, almost immediately. No, I'm good. Oh right. No, <laughs> no f way. Hey, sorry about that. My parents were calling me. Oh, hi, parents. Hi, you're you're in your parents' house, though, right? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Why? I just connected that with no, their I'm home. Like, like, they're calling you from the kitchen. <laughs> hey, son, yeah. are you alive? No, they were yelling at me wanting to watch a Garth Brooks concert. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I've always the heard type. the name Garth Brooks, but I don't know who he is. <laughs> You ever heard that song, I Got Friends in Low Places? Yeah, I've heard of it, but I yeah. don't know what it is. That's that's his song. Okay. You gotta sing it for us one time. Not right now. Copyright strike. That'd be a long bleep. Yeah. Did you say yes or no, Zach, to the million dollars? I don't think he heard it. No, I, I don't think Zach could hear. Um, million dollars, but every time you order something online, you have to tell your parents about your le uh, last sexual encounter in detail. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give, give you a straightforward answer, though, I'm going to say. You don't think Stacy would, uh, or... Stacy, what's your name? Tracy. Tracy, you're Tracy. close. Tracy, you don't think Tracy would enjoy that? <laughs> you don't want to think Tracy wants to hear about you and Lindsay? My mother does not want to hear about that at all. Um, I think that would upset his mother. I think that'd drama. make his mommy cry. <laughs> Listen, as far as my mother is concerned, I don't know that that exists. Okay. <laughs> Well, Zach, when two people mother. love each other very much, she would have a heart attack and die. So. <laughs> right, like, she would cry and she'd, like, disown him. She'd have a whole fit. She'd put herself in the hospital. She'd cry <laughs> and then her heart would literally stop beating. <laughs> and as she fell on the floor dying, she'd say, this is your fault. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, but Zach, here's my alternative. If that happens, Zach, I'll adopt you. You're, you're, you're not the one ordering the stuff, maybe. Like, you get somebody to order something for you, and then you pay them back. And if you have a million dollars, you can give them, like, twice as much as they should get. And so it's like, thank you. Unless what it's, if they're expensive. ordering? But if they're ordering it because I want it and I'm paying them to do it, then isn't that indirectly ordering oh, something? No, you're, you're not, still you're not going online. Problem. You're going to a middleman. But you're still paying for well, the product. Well, you order online, so you could rule lawyer that one. How about you get somebody to gift you something, and then they just so happen to find the money on the floor. Oh, I wonder whose money that is. I'm still going to say no. Oh, yeah, I, I, just, I just don't want to go with those rules. Yeah, I mean, uh, still no here because if I order something forgetting about the whole thing, because I will, then I have to tell my mother or my father or my stepfather about something. Uh uh. Uh uh. Just no. I, I, can't, I can't do that to my sainted mother. Can't tell them about your last grinder encounter. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no, I can't tell them about the last time I spent the night with Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. <laughs> he, just, he just kept sucking his nose. <laughs> oh, so that's what you can say no. <laughs> Million dollars, but every year on your birthday, flying monkeys appear and beat the sh out of you. <laughs> luck, I'll beat those monkeys up. Monkeys they can't even use their brains. All of the flying monkeys. 
honestly, my birthday's coming up, <laughs> and I'm ready to throw some hands with some monkeys. Yeah, you know what? That same. <laughs> they are going to catch hands. Oh, okay, so birthday, think about it this way, though. My birthday is the 23rd. Ah, use is coming up real quick. You gotta be 21. Oh, well, Sorry, you're gonna way, be Zach. under quarantine. How, how, <laughs> well, how many years are you gonna be able to do this until at some point the monkeys are too much? Like, let's say you're 69. And then they just well, beat I mean, the out of you. Exactly. You're when an I old man. They kill you. Then I deserve to lose. You just. You, if the monkeys overpower me, they're just monkeys. Like, we're talking like the flying monkeys from, um... Yeah, from Wizard yeah, of Oz. From Wicked! Wizard of Oz, I was gonna say, they had Dorothy in it. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We're talking about like those flying monkeys. Get out of here, They though. weren't very big. They weren't, like, they weren't, yeah. like, gorillas with giant rings, okay? No, they Yeah, were if it's a gorilla, like, they are dead. But they were really kind of freaky. They were what? I just think they were really kind of just to beat the but, shit out of me. Why? If you think about mm -hmm. this, if you think about this, like, logically, to fly, they gotta have hollow bones. What the f***? <laughs> that means if I just give them, like, a swift punch, then I'll break, like, whatever I hit. Dude, I just totally forgot about Zach's logic, and Darian's high yeah. as right now, Look, so Zach logic point. is blowing his mind. <laughs> No, also, I, I will when I get to the point saying, that I can be overpowered by a bunch of spider monkeys with hollow bones, then I deserve to lose. You, yeah. you're not Look, Zach, I am going to add to that. Wait, well, what? Oh, Zach, we can <laughs> say that they put you up, so the outcome is already determined. Right. We said they didn't beat up each other. Like, only one, the outcome is nope. already determined. No, the outcome is that they're, like, their intent is going to be to No, no, you it's a, it, the wording of the question was... It's not, it's not there's going to be a group of flying monkeys that are coming to attack you. It's, there's a group of flying monkeys <laughs> that are going to beat the crap out of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. yeah, so they were attacking you, but that doesn't it's mean okay. it will happen. Jason, the wording of the question tells you the outcome of the battle. You are going yeah. to... The crap beating out of hey, they, they say the outcome is I get no, beat up. It hey. doesn't say that I lose. They don't fuck themselves. <laughs> I will fight their foes in half. Hey, they will I don't know that I got a couple problems with, like, you know, oh. uh, listening. Um, Y'all know my hearing is the equivalent of, like, an 87 year old man. Uh, <laughs> Look, even if I get the beat out of me, I could still win the fight. Look, Listen, Rocky did that in the fight. movie. Rocky did that in most of his movies, and he okay, still fine. won. Well, he, 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 he can do it, so can I. But what the f*** does it matter if you win or lose the fight? You're still getting the crap beat out of you. I get a million dollar contract. It's just like WWE, or uh, MMA, or all the other. more than those guys get paid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You can never beat the monkeys. They're, they're, they exist. Look, just here's, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get Joe Rogan to follow me around what? on my first day. <laughs> and he'll be able to put me on his podcast. I and I will prove to you that those little monkey like punks are going to get destroyed. Zach, I need you on this. I need yeah, you on this. We need I, some I strong my man answer. to beat the shit out of monkeys. We yes. need to get the shit out of us. But... Like, fuck, we're gonna Brian, you have a question. Hold on. Everybody, shut food. up. Brian has a question. He's raising his hand politely. It's Brian's turn to talk. That's not a question. First of all, Rocky only won because Rock beats scissors. Second of all, I want my monkey brain. But Rock doesn't beat Rock. Hollow bones. Hollow bones are closer to paper than to anything. So all I need to do is be scissors. Rock. No, I know. Hey, hey, guys. Something you're not trained in the arts of hollow lesbian jitsu. Hey, hey, guys. Something you guys aren't realizing. Hollow bones are the bones themselves are more dense, right? They're hard to compensate for the fact that they are hollow. Well, let me know. Check your own teeth. But you see, Cody, okay, so there's a difference between hollow bones and regular bones. So, 
regular bones such as our own are very resistant to immediate strikes like this, but when banged they are very easy to crack, whereas hollow bones are the opposite. They're much more flexible. That's why birds are able to use them to fly. However, they are very, very bad up against like immediate strikes like this. You would immediately break all of their bones if you just punched them. Mm -hmm. Or bite them. So don't By punch way, birds? Uh, in half, so I know science behind it. Which is why the bird I punchers that we podcast. no longer shoot the bird, we just hit them. <laughs> bird yeah, eagle bye bye. If you were able to punch a bird out of the sky, it would be extremely effective. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Right so, wait, wait, what's Darian want to say? Darian, <laughs> Darian to say you look so annoying. <laughs> I feel like I, first of all, I feel like I'm in science class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit too stoned to know what's going on right now. <laughs> yo, yo, side note, I have a bird story. So, me and my friend Cody found this bird on the ground that had, like, got f***ed up or whatever. And, like, it couldn't fly. And we were gonna, like, try to save it. And we couldn't find a way to it's save it because we were... Went. No, like, no, like, it was like, it was like a, it was like, it was like a dove or something, and we were like 12 years old, so like, we really couldn't do anything, so we thought the best way to like, help it was to just put it out of its misery, so we took, <laughs> we took this big ass stick, and like, stabbed it into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and it went like right through the <laughs> and then we got scared and ran away because we were like oh shit. like we really it up there's no better feeling than killing the enemy <laughs> you know what wait a second okay so I help run uh, this scouting youth leadership program in the state of Vermont. And when I was a participant, there's like, it's like this week long thing. And so at the end of the week, your final night, you go on outpost where you go off as a patrol on your own into like the woods. And most troops, or most patrols, like my own, like we're just tired because it was the end of the week. And we made our MREs and like went to bed at 5 30. There was one patrol that decided to go up hunting. <laughs> And they, uh, first off, managed to kill a deer. <laughs> what the fuck? And second off, managed to kill a goose, a Canadian goose, which is a federal offense. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, to be completely fair, I'm almost positive that the goose deserved it. You know, it probably <laughs> would, but considering that a bunch of 13-year-olds went out and killed a goose <laughs> on a scouting trip. Yeah. That's not exactly cash money. <laughs> nah, not quite. Like, good on them. They killed a deer with, like, a bunch of wooden spears. I found it the next day. Like, That's got to be worth a bet. <laughs> there you go. Interesting. I guess they didn't feel like eating their MREs. They wanted something a little bit, uh... It's, it's evolving. It's just backwards. Wait, are we talking about <laughs> Boy Scouts or, like, military? Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts. Oh, yeah. Give them a patch of, like, dude chopping a deer's head off. That'd be awesome. <laughs> or why don't oh, yeah. they have like, like a that. symbol of a goose like choking a goose or like with a no goose head. with like the, the eyes X'd out <laughs> goose punchers <laughs> it just shows a beat up goose on it like a goose with a black eye <laughs> no, I'd love to beat up a goose listen the thing you don't know is geese are vicious. They have teeth on their tongues. No, I well, think we all know it, that. So it ain't so vicious anymore. Um, I used I to be on a golf team in my high school, and <laughs> my coach, for two years when I played, was like, hey, I will give you $100 if you can hit oh. the goose with a ball. I never did it, but I always went and tried. Zach, something about you saying for the first time that you played 
Golf in high school does not surprise me one bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I did. One time, I was not. one time at the zoo, there was flamingos, which is kind of like a goose, but prettier. One time, they no, Brian, shut the f up. It's my turn to talk. Yeah. You didn't raise your hands. So do you assume that people don't know what a flamingo is? <laughs> <laughs> They're like penguins, they, but pink, but with legs. They are like penguins, but pink, and with legs, you're right. All birds are the same. So, <laughs> thank you. That should be a joke, bro. Um, I was at the zoo with my cousin. And we were at Nashville Zoo, which is very based on being up close and personal with animals that you can be up close and personal with. So, like, we got to, like, hang out one-on-one -on -one with, like, kangaroos and shit. We were, like, a fence away from these flamingos. And my cousin leans in next to me and goes, I will give you $10,000 to grab that flamingo by the neck. <laughs> Did you do it? Well, no! Did you it wasn't a peacock? <laughs> no! It was a flamingo! Why don't you listen? <laughs> Why didn't you do it? If he had proof that he was going to give you 10 He wasn't going to give me 10 dollars <laughs> My grandmother used to live on this farm. They had like chickens and everything. And she used to tell me when I was a little kid that she would have to go out and kill the chickens sometimes. And... The way that they did it was just bizarre to me, but I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever heard of when I heard it. They grab the chicken by the neck and they will around until they <laughs> pop that. Okay. That's how they kill chickens in the country. It's like the Mary And then the body would like dance so around and like go on and <laughs> That's essentially how they would do it. Dude, I, I think there would be a bit more of it to do, you know, like as a person, but just as a thought, that's funny and Right. That's, that's the way I feel about it. Like, in real Naughty life, chickens go in the next spinner. That, but that's, that's really funny. To <laughs> Susan, do we have another million dollars? We do. Right so... Million dollars, but every time you step on gum, your great grandparents' ghost appear and convey their disappointment. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> my great grandpa didn't even remember my name, so yeah, I'm done. My great grandparents are dead. Well, like, it would be cool yeah, to see them. Ghost. Zach, ghost your great grand, them. your great grandfather would appear and be like. Xander, long listen to me. <laughs> so apparently, my apparently, uh, oh, shit, no, that's my grandfather, not my great grandfather. No. I still need to ask my my grandmother about her father, but I know her mother, my grandmother's mother, used to like go insane. She she had one of those things where after a while she just mentally started slipping, and so they would go to restaurants and such, and have, when they were trying to like pay for their meal um my grandfather would be paying and then all of a sudden my great-grandmother would walk over to that take one candy and dump the entire thing into her purse including the bowl and just begin to walk out of the store <laughs> everything even the bowl <laughs> so finding her as like a ghost form would be a fucking trip and a half just to see what other craziness she she actually possessed. Well, but is she there to only there to like talk about your you disappointing her? But she's gonna do it in her way. Which if she's such a crazy person, you know what? That's fair. Say it in a crazy way. And plus, she might have some leftover candies that she stole. Who knows? I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I take that. Not because I want, not because I want to hear crazy, but because 
I'm already a disappointment, babe. I already know it. What's for? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> um, I'm gonna go so yes. You, I'm gonna go yes for similar reasons. I know I'm a disappointment, but also because like I'm just imagining like my my great grandparents <laughs> being like, "You're awful," and I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, and you're dead." <laughs> yourself. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. To quote Jason's father, "Go f yourself." <laughs> How was the Great Depression? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Susan, would you mind repeating the prompt for me? Um, million dollars, but every time you step on gum, your great grandparents' ghosts appear and convey their disappointment. So, is this all of my great grandparents? Yes. I would assume. Because. I would assume so. If you include some Aaron, I have eight of those. And a lot of them are still alive. Oh my god! <laughs> wait, wait, but wouldn't you have eight great-grandparents anyway? Because you need two per... Oh, wait, no. No, How? what are you on about? Because you, you would have four... four it's still four, Jason. It's still four. I have 16, no. actually. You have 16? Yeah. Oh my god. Your parents have two parents, and then each of those parents has two sets of great grand or has two sets of parents. Or no. No. What? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Zach is becoming I smart. Zach I can do math. Of the sixteen great grandparents that I have, ten of them are alive. One of them lives across the road from me right now. Robin, she Robin distance for me. Don't speak don't speak math to Zach, you're just confusing him. Okay. <laughs> I hate <laughs> it. <laughs> what a guy, dude. But yeah, uh, that's that's gonna be a pass for me. I'll take it. I'll it take is. it because what the what the hell do I care about? Oh, uh, see, I still have like Bad. self the self image though. That's the thing. Oh, oh I don't. I have no shame. I, I only met one of my great grandparents, and uh, he was uh, dealing with Alzheimer's, so he didn't really know who I was exactly. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I doubt I doubt it would really carry a lot. So yeah, I think I'd take that million dollars. My my family has photos with my like great grandmother. And like everyone's like super smiley and all that, and she's just like passed out in the chair, and I'm just like, <laughs> like, why do we have like, like it was not a good time to take photos, and like they were just like, she's just like a corpse, like laying. <laughs> it was bizarre. <laughs> Can you imagine being old as dirt and your family being like, "Let's take pictures, Look, Grandpa"? It's like family Maybe photos. <laughs> Like they're just surrounded by like around her like while she's sleeping. It's like a prank like photo. Like like haha, let's make a funny pose while she's sleeping. Like they're all smiling pretty and everything, and she's just like mouth and cake, just Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it looks like. That's all oh, I can't remember I can't remember what the uh book is called, but it was about this kid who had to flee to Mexico. Um so, on that note, everybody say bye bye. Everybody say bye bye. Say bye bye. Goodbye. Uh, Jesus, say Christ. <laughs>